shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, to magnify the Lord with me. I don't think you heard me. Oh, to magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Amen, amen. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. We do honor the Lord this morning for being our God. Not only for, you know, sometimes we thank him for what he's done for us. Well, that's good. But let's thank him for who he is. Amen. He is our Savior. Uh, number one, he's our Savior. He is our healer. He's our protector. He's whatever you need him to be. Amen? Amen. Amen. We do honor our pastors this morning, Dr. John Melvin Wooten and Pastor Lady Patricia Wooten. We honor Pastor Kenneth Drone with Born Again Ministries. Amen? And his lovely wife, Sister Shirley Drone. All the ministers here this morning, and uh, we'd like to ask at this time if Reverend Douglas Bell, you're in the um, in the congregation, would you like to come forth, sir, if you feel comfortable? Amen. 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 And if, when he gets up here at that, if, at that time, we're going to have an opening selection from our choir. God, our Heavenly Father, we come forward, God, just to give you thanks, God. Thanking you, God, for your grace and your mercy, God. Thanking you, God, for being the king that reigns over all the earth, God. Thanking you, God, for peace that surpasses all understanding, God. Father God, we welcome your presence into this service, God. We ask that you just enter the service in, in, through each and every one of us, God. Have your way in this service today, today, Father God. 
in the name of Jesus. Open up our hearts and our ears that, so that we may hear a word from you today, God. Father God, we ask that you bless everyone who is here. Bless everyone who is on their way, God. Thank you for giving us all traffic mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Preserve 
inside of your bulletin. My grace is sufficient. Second Corinthians 12 verses 9 through 10. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Heavenly Father, the creator of, of heaven and earth. Yeah. Father, we come this morning, God, to give you praise, honor, and glory. Yeah. But God, before we come to you, God, we pray, God, and ask that you create us a clean heart yeah. and a right spirit this morning, God. The God that we may glorify you, God. Yeah. And we may give you all the praise and honor. Because, God, you are worthy of it, God. You're worthy, God. And, God, we come this morning thanking you, Lord, thank for all our many, many blessings. Thank you, God. Once again, God, you allowed us to see another first Sunday. Yes. You kept us, God, through all our trials and tribulations. Yes. God, you even kept us through this hurricane season, God. Yes. Oh, God, we pray this morning, God, for all your many, many blessings, God. Yes. What a mighty God we serve. Yes. The God of all gods, yes. kings of all kings, yes. and powers of all powers. Yes. Father, we love you this morning. Yes, we glorify you this morning. Yes, God, we ask that your Holy Spirit fall fresh on us this morning, God. Yes. Oh, God, that we may praise you, God. Yes. Glorify you, God. Thank you, God, for all your many blessings, God. Yes. You have supplied our every need, God, up to this present time, God. And down through this year, God, you've been mighty, mighty, mighty good. Yes. We thank you for your blessings, God. And Father, as we come, God, we know that are some that are sick, God, those that are bereaved, God, those that are going through, God. But God, you said we humble ourselves and call on your holy and righteous name. That you open up the window of heaven, God, and pour us out. Father, we thank you for our blessing this morning, God. We 
thank you, God, that we are amongst the living one more time. So, Father, we ask that you allow our spirit to be free this morning, God. That you get all the glory this morning, God, and not man, God. But, God, we pray, God, that you bless every household this morning, God, and represent it, God. Oh, God, let them know that they are in the right place this morning, God. God, you've been good to us, God. We thank you, God. We thank you for our, vet, our guests this morning, God. For visiting pastor this morning, God. Oh, God, he come to bring a word this morning, God. A word that you have given him this morning, God. God, allow us to have a receiving heart, God. Listen to the ears, God. As we pray for this nation, God, this community, God, this city, God, this United States, God. Oh, God, we need your presence, God. Every hour of the day, God, we need you, God. We need for you to speak to us this morning, God. So, Father, we ask that you have your way, God, this morning, God. God, we pray that you will save, set free, and deliver this morning, God. Yes, sir. God, we thank you for all your many blessings, God. We ask, God, that you bless every ministry that represents you, God, not man. Father, have your way this morning, God. We love you, God. We adore you this morning, God. Oh, God, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for all your many, many blessings. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I'm going to die.
It's revival time at Mary Grove Church. The 8th, the 9th, and the 10th. We all need revival. Amen? Our very own pastor will preach each night. 7 o'clock nightly. Please put this on your schedule to attend. On the 10th, our choir, ushers, and congregation will serve. Amen? Amen. Okay. <laughs> Breast Cancer Awareness Amen. event at the Agricultural Center, October the 12th. This is Audacious Women of Faith, uh -huh. honoring women everywhere. Pretty in pink, a breast cancer event. And our very own Reverend Valerie Jones will be on the panel. Amen. But the higher calling that this church praise team dancers yeah. performing. Amen. 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 And that's um, yeah, October the 12th at 2 p.m. Next day. We will be having breast cancer awareness service here at Higher Calling the 20th at the 11 o'clock service. Amen. 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 Our speaker for the hour will be Reverend Cindy Huck. Huck. Amen. She's from Fayetteville, North Carolina. First Community Fellowship uh, Free Will Baptist Church. Amen. Amen. The theme is abounding in love. Romans 15, 13. Right. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We're asking that everyone wear something pink on Sunday, October the 20th, for our Purdy in Pink service. Right. This service is, is to bring attention to breast cancer awareness. Early detection is the key and makes a difference in your treatment Amen. progress process. Why does breast cancer awareness matter? I'm glad you asked. Because a late diagnosis makes the battle so much harder. Because it is harder to treat cancer without aggressive measures. Because early detection allows less surgery and less hard treatment. Because it is the second highest cause of death in women behind heart disease. Early screening, monthly self-breast exams, and seeing a BC specialist early with any concerns is vital. Uh -huh. I know because it mattered in my life. Uh, I'm reading this for Reverend Valerie Jones. Amen. God gave her the wisdom and drive to take all these measures, and because of that, she stands here today, 20 years later, cancer free. Appreciation is right around the corner. The chairman asked me to emphasize the importance of paying our assessment. We didn't have extra programs this year, but if we pull together and pay our assessment, we can really bless the man and woman of God real good. He labors before us. You know he does. Goes to everybody's house that's sick. Gas is not cheap. Amen? Come on now. Let's do what we're supposed to do. I know you will. I know you will. Amen. Remember to, in person early voting begins October 17th. Remember to bring your photo ID. Don't have any excuses for them to turn you away. Amen. Because they will. Amen. General election day is November the 5th. But if you can go early, go early. Amen. You won't have to stand in line. Amen. Amen. Condolences. We reach out to Anita McDowell on the death of her sister-in-law, who will be further demonized today at 1 o'clock at Salem Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. Let us continue to pray 
much for that thing. Amen? Amen. 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 We welcome the visitors this morning. Amen. We welcome you here at How You Call. Amen. Anytime our doors are open. So glad to see so many faces we haven't seen in quite a while. We're glad to have you this morning. Amen. 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 Birthdays for October. Amen. Amen. As I call your name, will you please stand? All right. I don't think she's here, Sister Carrie Lynn. No, no. Adrena Barr. No, but she's home from the hospital. Praise God. Amen. Beverly Wood. Amen. Shalia Moore. Vicky Pitt. Rosalind Fox. Destiny Hemp. Robert Blackstone. Hallelujah. Kendrick Farmer. I'm standing for Nebraska. Amen. Amen. Teresa Luke. Mother Dorothy Slade. Beverly, is Faith, is this is her mother too? Yes, Faith. Sunday by 1 p.m. or you can of course give it here 
You also can visit us on our website, www.hcbcwilsonnc.com to donate. Amen? Amen? And if you're here this morning and you have your tithe or your offering with you, or both, then would you please raise it up toward heaven because that's who you're giving it to. Amen. Not Dr. John Melvin Wooten, not any of these other ministers up here, not even, you are really not even giving the higher calling, you're giving it to God because he commands us to do that. Amen? Amen. And would you repeat after me? Holy Father, Holy Father I bring my tithe into the storehouse, in obedience to your command. I give it freely, honestly, and without reservation. I thank you, Father, for opening the windows of heaven and pouring out a blessing for me and my family. Thank you, Father, for providing me with all I need. I thank you for rebuking the devourer for my sake. I thank you that his hands are tied concerning my money. I thank you that I'm whole, that I'm free, and that I'm blessed. Amen. Amen. We'll now turn the service over into the hands of the deacons. Be blessed.
Christmas. I used to. And I would come back and thank the choir, but they have been, have they not have been singing today? And our pastor, oh man. You just keep right on showing out. Thank you, choir. It is now time for the preach work. Amen. The highlight of any worship experience should be the holy and the preach word. I know that we have someone here this morning that can rightly divide the word of truth. And no disrespect, but I call him Kenny. I'm sorry. I've been knowing him that long. Almost, what, over 30 years. I've been knowing he and Lady Shirley. I don't want to disrespect, have anybody say that I disrespected them. But I'm going to have Co-Pastor Shirley drawn to come forward and introduce her husband in her own way. And at this time, I know I know I surprised her, but she ought to be always ready because that's her man. Come on and introduce your man, girl. Yes, I got my notes. <laughs> I give all to God, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, amen, to Dr. Wooten, to his wife Patricia, to my husband, Pastor Drone, to all the ministers, all the deacons, all the saints and friends, and especially to y'all, Dr. Wooten, that's standing up there just moving his mouth and pretending to sing. <laughs> Real, real good. <laughs> Amen. But it gives me a great pleasure to introduce one of God's servants on tonight, on today. Amen. The pastor of Born Again Ministry, uh, the Triumphant Church of Tarboro, North Carolina, is uh, none other than Pastor Kenneth R. Drone. The uh, R is for Ray, but it also stands for race car driver. You know, that's a sort of a joke. He can get you anywhere in probably about 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He is the son of the late Raymond Drone Sr. and Betty Drone McNeil. That's the way to be in a stand. Amen. He's been married to me for... Uh, Several years, <laughs> several years, for 39 years as of yesterday, amen. We have three grown children, um, and we have six grandchildren. He has been preaching for 34 years, and he's been pastoring Born Again Ministry for 28 years. He loves the people of Bam, and the people of Bam love him, amen. The man can preach and he will preach. Yes. He is Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized right. and he has the anointing of God on his life and he has the anointing on his life when he preached the word of God. Yes. Church, I present to you my main man, right. my best friend, yes. my three baby daddies, <laughs> the love of my life, the preaching machine, yes. and the one who's going to give me some of his money when we leave here on today. <laughs> One way, one way. 
Amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let the church shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise give honor to God, my heavenly Father. I give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I give honor to the Holy Ghost, who is my comfort on the day. Yeah, yeah. Thank God it's good to be here in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray the Lord I stand before you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Praise Lord of glory. And I mind you that I can't do anything by myself. But I do trust in the Holy Ghost to speak through me on today. And I do trust the Lord to have his own way. Truly, I give honor to my lovely wife, whom I love dearly, of these 39 years. Amen. I give honor to my loving mother, amen, whom I love dearly. Amen. Amen. I give honor to my best friend in this world. The great Reverend Dr. John M. Wooten. Amen. Amen. He's a friend indeed. Amen. And I thank God for him in a mighty special way and for the great work that he's doing here. Amen. At Higher Calling Baptist Church. Amen. Along with my other best friend, his lovely wife, Amen, Pastor Patricia Wu. Amen. We do honor you all. Amen. You are great people. We honor, we honor all of the ministers in the house. Amen. It's, uh, Minister Joan Val has said we've known each other for a long time. We're working at the phone cup. Amen. It's good when your past can cross in Christ. Amen. I give honor to all of the deacons, all the mothers, to all of the saints of God, to each and every one of you in the house in the on today. It is good to be here in the name of Jesus. I honor, amen, my church family. A portion of them is here. All of BAM, would you stand briefly, amen? I want to thank God for you in a mighty, mighty special way. I appreciate you. Everybody couldn't be here, but I thank God for the ones that are. Amen. Amen. And I wouldn't take nothing for this group of people. Amen. I bless them in a mighty special way. Amen. I want to say also I'm honored to have another close friend of mine, a good buddy of mine, um, Jeff Jones. Amen. He is here. And he has come at the last minute, amen, to fellowship with us, another friend indeed. <clears throat> amen. So again, we thank God for everything and for everybody. We're not going to prolong the time we're going to the Word of God. It is the Old Testament book of Psalms, Psalms 116. <clears throat> Y'all pray for my voice. It's a little challenge today, but I'm going to do the best I can to the glory of God. Psalms 116, verses 1 and 2. Psalms 116, verses 1 and 2. If you got to say amen. amen. Now let us all read it together, and it reads, I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications, because he hath inclined his ear unto me, Therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Let, let's, let's read it one more time. Just for uh, what is it? I love the Lord because he hath heard my voice and my supplication. Because he hath inclined his ear unto me. Therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. Amen. I thank God for the reading of his holy word. If you would, I would like for you to turn to the person next to you and say, neighbor. neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. It, is it is a privilege to be able to, be able to, call, on to call on God. Neighbor. neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. It, is it is a great privilege and an honor, and an honor. To, be to be able to call on our God. But we call on him most of the time for what we want. I want to use for a thought or subject on today. I just call. 
to say I love you. I just called to say I love you. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, my Heavenly Father, in the mighty and holy name of Jesus, dear Lord, I come before you, before you, Lord, as humble as I know how, desire for you to come on in the midst. I pray, Lord, you would speak to your servant on today. Please forgive me for all of my sins and shortcomings. Please send forth your anointing to destroy every yoke that would oppose your word or your servant on today. And let your word go forth free under the anointing of the Holy Ghost and with power. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. May be seated. Thank you so much. Amen. I don't know why whenever I go away and preach, no matter where it is, my mouth get extra dry. So y'all please bear with me. I might need some more water. <laughs> <laughs> One more time, turn to your neighbor, say neighbor. Yeah. Oh, neighbor. Okay. I just call to, to say I love you. Love you. you like that? Get it on a hand clap, please. <laughs> there is a song that we used to sing back in the day. That says, when I call on God, he will come to my rescue. Anywhere, any place, any time. Am I right about it? Yeah. It goes on to say, when I need a loving friend, he won't deny me. He'll be there, thank you. He'll walk beside me. Anywhere, any place, any time. Are you glad about it? With this song and many others like it as a reference, <clears throat> amen, it would appear that many times when we do call on God, it is because we need, want, or desire to be rescued or delivered from or out of some type of situation, circumstance, or dilemma. Am I right about it? And of course, it is quite in order for us to lift our eyes unto the hills from whence cometh our help. For our help do come from the Lord. Is that all right? Now, while there is absolutely nothing wrong with calling on God in our time of desperate need, we need to be real about the fact that if this is the only time when we call on God, we need to expand our call law. Am I right about it? It seems, ladies and gentlemen, as if we always want something from God. Am I right about it? Uh -huh, but the question of the day as well as of the ages is, but what about what God wants from us? God wants our obedience to his word, his will, and his ways. Amen. But he also wants our love. Am I right about it? And that's why the first and great commandment is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one God. Uh-huh. And he goes on to say, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. Am I right about it? And it looks like to me, that it should be easy to love someone who loves you so much. As a matter of fact, I believe it's so good loving somebody. Uh-huh, when somebody loves you back. Am I right about it? Uh-huh, you, uh, yeah, uh-huh, to God be the glory. And you know that the Lord loves us all. Don't you know it? Amen, but just for the record, John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, or he loved the world so, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Isn't that right? Romans 5, 6 says, When we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Romans 5, 7 says, But God commended his love towards us, 
Amen. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died. Somebody shout for us. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> there is one God, according to 1 Timothy 2, 5 and 6, and one mediator between God and men. That is the man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Am I right about it? Ladies and gentlemen, John 15, 13 says, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Am I right about it? To God be the glory. And Hebrews 2, 9 says, But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels, for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. Are you glad about it? So what a friend we have in Jesus. Somebody shout glory. And as a friend, amen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, his name is wonderful. A uh hot -huh, counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting God, the everlasting Father, amen, and the Prince of Peace, among other names. Nevertheless, amen, it is said in Psalm that Jesus is on the main line. You can call him up, tell him what you want. That if you need more love, more peace, more joy, call him up and tell him, uh-huh, what you want. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. But I just believe on today that there ought to be some people in higher calling on this morning. Amen. Who have called on Jesus uh, on the main line. Amen. Told him what you want. Uh-huh. And he delivered. Maybe not when you wanted him to. Uh-huh. But uh, time after time. Uh-huh. Time and time again. In crunch time. Uh-huh. At a crucial time. Uh-huh. All over time. Uh-huh. Just in the nick of time. Uh-huh, but right on, right on time. Am I right, Bob? Uh-huh, how many of you know that he may not come when you want him? Uh-huh, but he'll be there, amen, right on time. Am I right, about? For he's an on-time God? Yes, he is. Amen, I believe that somebody who knows he's an on-time God ought to call him up every now and then and say, I just call to say, I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Am I right about it? He's a present help because he's always present. Ain't God a good God? For he is omnipresent. He's everywhere, every when. And he's uh, everything and everybody is always immediately in his presence. Am I right about it? Amen. When I think about the omnipresence of God, I like to put it like this. Amen. He can be where he is on the way to where he's going. But by the time he gets where he's going, he's already arrived before he gets there. And when he gets there, he's still in the same place he was before he left. He then bumps into himself while in transition, seeing himself coming and going while standing still at the same time. Uh -huh, because there is nowhere where there is a where, where he is not. Amen. He is always there. And God is God. And he continues to be there for us. Amen. When we need him the most. It's not hard to love a God like that. Do you love the Lord on today, saints? Do you love Jesus? Uh -huh, well, if you love Jesus, then you ought to show some sign. Uh-huh, by calling him up every now and then, uh, just to say, I call, just to say, I love you. Uh-huh, and I mean it from the bottom, as Stephen would say, of my heart. Thank God, a good God. Now, in this text today, ladies and gentlemen, briefly, we're in the Old Testament book of Psalms. The 116th division, if you will, beginning at verse 1, which states, amen, uh, in the sentiments of some say King David, amen, but if not, some writer, amen. He said, I love the Lord because he hath heard my voice and my supplications. 
see if this is David or whoever the writer is, ladies and gentlemen, they had experienced God's goodness to him in an answer to his prayers. Uh, the Lord has heard, amen, the pitch, the tone and tenor, and even the volume, if you will, sound quality, if you will, amen, of the voice of the writer on high. Uh, but he also heard the desperation, the anguish, and the despair in his supplication uh -huh, to the Lord because he had humbly and earnestly begged him, amen, and graciously God accepted the prayer and granted him an answer of peace. Am I right about it? Ladies and gentlemen, God is a responsive God, amen, that you can always reach out to him. Are you glad about it? He, and the scripture says that he humbles himself to behold the things that are in heaven as well as the things in the earth. Are you glad about it? Uh-huh. The, the writer's love, amen, for the Lord had grown because he had experienced answers to his prayers. He confessed and expressed, I love the Lord because he had heard my voice and my supplication. Amen. He heard how it sounded. Because I called him out loud. But he also heard, amen, amen, my earnest prayer. Amen. He heard me really pleading with him. Amen. Thank God a good God. And I believe that the more that the Lord does for us, the more we ought to love him. Am I right about it? And our love should grow more and more day by day and circumstance by circumstance as the Lord comes to our rescue. Somebody give the Lord a hand, clap of praise. We get there. Love, ladies and gentlemen, can be described as unselfish, loyal, and benevolent or charitable intention and commitment towards another. The concept of the love of God, amen, is deeply rooted in the Bible, amen, and I believe that it can be summarized, if you will, amen, like this. Uh, 1 John 4, 8 through 10 says, he that loveth not knoweth not God. For God is love. In this was manifested the love of God towards us because that God sent his only son, his own begotten son into the world that we might live through him. And herein is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the perpetuation or the hillamos or the atonement for our sins. Are you glad about it? 1 John 4, 16 says, and we have known and believed the love that God had to us. God is love. Somebody shout, God is love. God. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. Amen. It is well documented in and throughout Holy Scripture that the Lord loves his people and humanity as a whole. Are you glad about that? But is there anybody here who can say like the writer of this text, I love the Lord. Because he had heard my voice and heard my supplications. Amen. There's something about that mind. Amen. Because yours is one thing, but mine is something totally different. Am I right about it? Amen. I can deal with yours, but when it comes to mine, amen, there is something about God coming to my rescue. Verse 2 says, because he hath inclined his ear unto me. Amen. In other words, he has stretched his hearing capacity. He has spread his ears out. Amen. He has bent away from where he is. Amen. In the direction of our plea. Am I right about it? Amen. He has, in effect, given me uh, his undivided attention. Therefore, will I call upon him as long as I live. Amen. It's, it's kind of like the play in Shakespeare, Julius Caesar, where, 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 where uh, Mark Anthony said, Friends, Romans, countrymen, let me show you. Hey, God, and God. And that's what God does. Amen. He lets us his ears. Are you glad about it? Therefore, I will call upon him as long as I live. I just call. Somebody shout glory. So here, ladies and gentlemen, in the present, he merges the future with the past. Uh-huh. In the future, 
I'm going to call on him as long as I live. And I'm going to do it because uh, in the past, he has inclined his ear unto me. He listened to me and he heard me. Am I right about it? And how many know he didn't have to do it? But he did. Thank God be God. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He has done so much for us. Amen. And that, and for that reason, amen, we ought to praise him. Amen. For what he did. But worship him for who he is. And I just believe now, saints, that after having called on God, we're about to get there now. But after having called on God so many times in the past, uh, when we were sick in our bodies, we called on him. Am I right about it? That when we were distressed in our minds, we called on him. Uh, that when we were oppressed in our spirits, we called on him. Isn't that all right? Uh, that when we had trouble in our homes or in our relationship, we called on him. Am I right? That, 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 that sometimes, amen, uh, some of us have had financial hardships and difficulties, and we called on him. And he worked things out on our behalf. Amen. We have called on him to give us this day our daily bread. Am I right about it? Amen. And the Lord provided. Amen. Oh, he supplied our need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And so now, somebody shout now. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that it's about time. Time. Hell yeah. That somebody just called. Just called to say I love you. Just called to say how much I care. Uh, uh, when you call on him, are you going to call uh, on the triune God here? Am I right about it? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The blessed three in one. That, that when I call on one, I'm calling them all. So if I refer to one, I refer to the whole Godhead. Am I right about that? Amen. But I'm here to let you know that I found that there's something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. Uh, but you, but, 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 but you, you can call on him. Amen. You can call him Emmanuel. God with us. Yes, you can call him the Lamb of God. Yes, and holy is the Lamb. Yes, and precious is the Lamb. Yes, Why he loved me so, yes, I'll never know. Yes, the precious Lamb yes, of God. Yes, you can call him the Son of Man. Yes, you can call him the Son of God. Yes, you can call him the Alpha and the Omega. Yes, but call him. Yes, you can call him the Bread of Life call him. You can call him the Messiah, but call him. You can call him the Word, but call him. You can call him the Good Shepherd. Somebody ought to call him. You can call him the Sweet Rose of Sharon. Call him. You can call him the Lily of the Valley. Call him. You can call him the Bright and the Morning Star, but call him. You can call him the Mediator between God and men. Does anybody want to call him? You can call him the Holy One of Israel. You can call him the stone that was rejected of me. Uh -huh, but now has become the head of the corner. You can call him the chief cornerstone. But call him. You can call him the true vine. Call him. You can call him the day spring from on high. But somebody ought to call him. You can call him the bridegroom. But call him. You can call him the lion of the tribe of Judah. Somebody ought to call him now. You can call him the image of the invisible God. But call him. You can call him the way, the truth, and the life. Call him. You can call him the light of the world. Somebody ought to call him. And you can call him the author and the finisher of our faith. I'm about to go to my seat. But he is who he was, was who he is, and has been who he will be. 
Somebody in this place on that mind calling him up. Sing or say, say or sing. That I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Because you care for me in such a special way. And that's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. My heart, my mind, my soul belongs to you. You paid the price for me way back on Calvary. That's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with grace. I just call to say I love you. I love you because you died for me. I love you because you paid a debt that you didn't owe. Because I owe a debt that I could not pay. Is it all right? I love you because you paid it all. And all to you I owe. You watch me whiter than snow. You paid it all. Is that all? I just call. I, I love you because you picked me up when I was falling down. You placed my feet on solid ground. And you saved me by what you gave me. And one day you gonna raise me. Is that all right? You saved my soul and you made me whole. Is that all right? And each and every day of my life, you continue to make me the minister of a flaming fire. I can't give up, I can't give me, and I can't give out. Because your word is in my heart as a burning fire, shut up in my bones. I won't take this thing on up, and I got to get ready to leave. But I want to let the Lord know. Uh-huh. Oh, today. I want to let him know that, Lord, you can expect a call from me. Lord, I will be calling you. I will uh-huh, be placing my call. I will be giving you a ring up. I will be giving you a buzz. I'm going to get in touch with you and make my call. Just to say that I love you because hallelujah. And one more reason of why I love the Lord because of the songwriter said, I've seen the lightning flash and I've heard the thunder roll. I felt some breakers dashing, trying to conquer my soul, but I heard. Of Jesus saying, Drone, I fight on. He promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. I'm going to take it up one more time, and I'm going to my seat. No, never alone. No, never alone. He promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. And because of that, I just called to say, Lord, that I love you. I love you today. Because I have been young and now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken? No, it seed a begging bread. I just call. I have to let you know that I've been a lot of places, seen a whole lot of things, met a whole lot of people, but I have come to the dramatic and climactic conclusion that can't nobody, can't nobody. Jesus, can't nobody do it like the Lord. Am I right about it? Amen. I just call. I just call to let you know that I love you. So I believe that it's about time. There's somebody in higher calling. Somebody in BAM, TTC. Somebody in 
the neighboring church, I believe it's about time that somebody say that I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue to be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, somebody say, oh, can you say, oh, can you say, oh? Exalt the name together. So the next time when you call on God, don't ask for anything. Don't make a petition. Don't make a plea. But you tell the Lord, I just call. Can you say I just call? Can you say I just I just call? I just call to say I love you. I love you. I love you. Is that all right? If you never just know my heart is fixed. My mind is made up. I've got to be. I'm going to be. Can't nobody stop me from being ready. From being ready. From being ready. When Jesus comes, I just want to provoke an attitude. And I'll change your heart to the saints of God. <laughs> Instead of calling him, asking, begging, and pleading. Somebody from the day on, every now and then, all that least said, Lord, I just call to say, I love you. God bless you. Pray my strength in you. God be the glory. Come on, give this man of God another hand clap of praise. Did not your heart burn? Amen. God, uh, because the man of God brought the word on today. Amen. And I don't know about you. If I won't save, I'll get saved all over again today. So I stand to uh, open the doors of the church to extend the gospel invitation to whoever that do not know the Lord. Amen. And now it's your time to get to know this man Amen. he was preaching about. Amen. I mean, I tell you, he called everything that God was Amen. and can be to you. Amen. He talked about it in his message. So if you don't hear, if you're here on today and you're not saved, you don't know Jesus in the part of your sin, now is your time to come. When you stand all over the building, you don't have to flip. Do a whole bunch of stuff, get nothing right. The Bible says, whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Just that simple. Repent of your sins with a sincere heart. And if you're here and don't have a church home, we have born again ministry here and higher calling. There's another church uh, here also. Church of your choice, it don't really matter. The main thing is being in the family of Christ, amen? So while the choir give a selection of their choice, make a conscious decision to come and accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Will you come?
my way. You told me to put my trust in me. That's why I'm holding on. Your soul, the blood would not be required upon this Amen. pastor who preached the word, yes. nor upon this church. Amen? Amen. But remember, you can all you don't have to be in church to be saved. You can call on the name of the Lord, wherever you may be, from a sincere heart. He would be there to save you. Amen. 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 God bless you. Pastor. At this time, we turn the service over to Pastor. Whoop. Let the church say amen. amen. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, ain't he worthy? Yeah. God be the glory. Did not our hearts burn? Yeah. It'll be a while this man of God spoke to us by the wayside. Amen. amen. Certainly we thank God for my good friend here. 
Lord help me. I knew he was going to preach. Because he always preaches. But this Negro. And I got to preach here next week. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. He has given us a word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. I don't know about y'all, but I think I'm going to just call him just to say that I love him. Because he's been mighty good to me. And I know he's been good to you. To God be the glory. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor John. Amen. Amen. Look, I, I know he wore out. And I know he's tired. Amen. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you, he could have preached enough 15 minutes for me. That was a good word. Amen. But I saw his wife out the corner of my eye. Looked like she was trying to tell him, sit down. Because that's what she do. It's me bossy. I'm just saying, I love her. I love her. Amen. Thank you, Born Again Ministry, for loaning us your pastor today. Amen. To God be the glory. Certainly thank God. Amen. We, we have been friends for a long time. Amen. Amen. And, and uh, we got to do better than what we are doing. Uh, amen. I got to get him over here a little bit more often. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Most of y'all know, I, I don't let folk preach on Sunday unless they from in here. <laughs> Amen. 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 So I got to love this guy. And you see why. Amen. He can preach that Bible say, you know, if I want if, look, I believe, I'm going to put it like this, that if I want to get better, then I got to be around folk who are trying to get better. Amen. May God be the good. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for all of you coming today. Now, I do know, uh, born again, that y'all have a funeral. Amen. So at this time, we're going to get prepared for uh, communion. Uh, if y'all would like to be excused, then we'll take a moment and I'll allow y'all to be uh, dismissed. Okay. Pastor, so y'all going to sit right there. <laughs> Amen. So we're going to ask our officials to come. Oh, if there's anybody who needs communion, where well, would you raise your hand so the ushers can come and see you? Amen. Amen. Certainly, we thank God. Amen. Our choir sang beautifully. Amen. Amen. Thank God for them. Next time a born again come, we're gonna let born again ministry box in. Because those guys can throw down. Yeah. You never heard them? Woo. They, they they got a director, her name is Bug. <laughs> yes, sir. And she is wrong. You better hear me. Okay, I get my picture. That ain't my grandson hollering like that is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say I'm gonna get him. <laughs> now whoever son that is, you you handle your son the way you do. Or your child. Amen. Amen. God be the Lord. Amen. That's Everybody who's been served. Amen. Uh, as, as we often do, as we always do, we start by going to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 27. And we read, Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, 
and drink the, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Amen. Not going to do the dissertation that I normally do. I'm just going to say to, to you, say this to you. It is the will of God that we all participate in communion. Amen. Amen. However, God also knows that we all have sinned, fallen short of his glory. Yes. But he has given us an avenue. Jesus Christ, the righteous. Amen. When we call on him, amen, and repent of our sins to him, amen, he makes us worthy to receive the body and the blood of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to ask you now, amen, to look deep into your own self. Don't worry about your neighbor or what somebody else has done. Look at your own self. Amen. And offer up your prayer of forgiveness to the Lord. I'm going to give you just a moment to do that. Dear God, in the name of Jesus, we come now, God, as humble as we know how to come. We come, oh God, as we want to receive the body and the blood of our Lord. God, we know we've sinned. We, we, we know what we've done. And so, God, we ask that you forgive us every sin that we have committed. Forgive us in the name of Jesus. And then, God, work repentance in us. Cleanse us of all unrighteousness. In the name of Jesus. Make us fit vessels to receive this sacrament. God, we ask all of this in the mighty and the precious name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. 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 And as they did eat, Jesus took the bread. And he blessed it. Big fall. Amen. Amen. Then took then Jesus took the bread and he gave it to them. And said, Take, eat. This is my body. Please take the bread from your communion cup. And let's all eat it together. And then Jesus took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them. Think of that prayer if you would pray over me. Thank you for everything that you have done for us. Your, uh, this wine represents your blood that was shed on Calvary's cross. In Thank the name of the Father, the Son, and the precious Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 And then they all drink of it. Let us drink it together. Thank you, Father. Then Jesus said to them, This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for me. Verily I say unto you, I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine until that day that I drink it new in the kingdom of God. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of 
Now, of course, we don't have Mount Olives to go out to, but we do have our own destinations that we have uh, set for ourselves. Amen. So, uh, but this does conclude our worship service. Amen. And, and we're very grateful, amen, for our God who has met us here. And the church say amen. Amen. We thank God for all the preachers who joined us today. Amen. We certainly thank God for the choir and the ushers, the media staff, and the security staff. Let me say thank God to this pastor, Pastor Kenneth R. Drone. Amen. And certainly we thank God for the Born Again Ministry Church. Amen. Amen. Coming to worship with us today. Amen. And as we prepare to leave, amen, let us remember, amen, that God is a good God. Amen. amen. And all we need to do is just call him up amen. to say I love you. Can we all say? Put up your hands for the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Spirit. Rest, rule, and abide with us henceforth now and forever. Let us all say amen. 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 amen.